All right, guys, before we get into this video, I want to talk to you about foottrading.co.uk. It's a website run by myself and V273, where we help you guys to make millions of coins on FIFA every single month. I know you guys mentioned that I talk about it a lot in my videos, but the reason for that is the website helps allow us both to be full time. And it means I'm able to bring out three, sometimes four videos a day on YouTube because they can pay for an editor and give those who can't afford the website um, as many trading tips as I possibly can do. £10 a month gets you access to tier one, which gives you buying and selling prices for silver cards, special cards, icons and Thursday flips. Tier two is £15 a month. It includes all of tier one and access to live filters, our Chemstar area, which is extremely effective right now. Hundreds of thousands of coins being made every day from there. And our fluctuation area where we monitor the market for lows and highs, allowing you to make as much coins as possible. So make sure you check it out. But for now, let's get into the video. Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to a new video with me, Fuzzball40. As always, if you're new around here, make sure you subscribe down below. Make sure you turn on your notifications so you never miss an upload. Get three uploads a day on this channel. The morning is usually League SBC Method to Glory. That is coming back. I'm just waiting to sell my silvers bit by bit. I'm selling them off just to make profit on them so I can get back to grinding that method. Uh, the trade evening video is usually a trading video. So normally in the evening, it's 1 million to 5 million. That's a series we're going to be running at the moment. Again, the silvers are a part of that, so... They're coming bit by bit. Uh, and then the midnight upload is always a sort of content video. So what have we got at 6pm or at the moment, a lot of upgrade packs. And the whole point is to show you guys you can grind the game without spending a single penny of real money on it. You can just have fun and do it that way. First thing I want to talk about, I'm live on Twitch right now. Well, I won't be live right now. I'll be live in about 15 minutes. So if you want to get involved, make sure you click link down below and come over to Twitch. That is where I live stream most days from 5.30pm. And I want to talk about these Bundesliga Silvers. You guys keep commenting about when do I sell my Bundesliga Silvers. Um, let's sum up the way the Bundesliga Silvers have gone. Some of the ones that weren't overly invested in have risen very nicely and very good profit from them. Some of the shouts that I gave you guys, like the Billerfield ones, um, they've not risen enough. And there's a few reasons why they haven't. The first is a lot of supply from EA. But the main problem is some people that bought them have now panic, panic sold them or panic selling them and are listing them on mass. And you're getting people putting 20 of them on the market at 1,500 coins. All that happens when you do that is someone comes in and sells it underneath that price and then someone comes in and sells underneath that price and it just holds the market down massively. I beg you, do not sell your silvers like that. It is lazy. It is not the way you want to be selling and making profit. You should be listing one or two at a time, letting them sell one or two at a time and the market comes up. I saw a comment earlier on, Bradley, this is at you, saying you missed the boat. Everyone that did the Bundesliga SBC has done it now, so that's it. It's not true. The high point for Serie A silvers was about 14 days in. The problem you've got is the Serie A silvers saw a nice jump because they weren't overinvested in and people weren't panic selling. So just be mindful of that. But I would say if you're not willing to hold for a longer, longer period now, you probably want to get them sold Wednesday latest, Thursday morning because we've got marking matchups on Thursday, which will bring the market down again even further. So yeah, that's the way you want to do it. That's how you sell your Bundesliga silvers. Today's video, though, is all about club stocking and... It's a massively profitable thing to do, but it's also one hell of a grind. So what is club stocking? Essentially, club stocking is getting your club ready for a promo that is coming. And the promo I'm talking about right now is team of the year. At the moment, we've got headliners, which has been very, very bang average. It's been a quite a poor promo, if we're being honest. Last night's content was a draft token pack. It's pathetic. Um, we, we think we get headliners team two on Friday and then team of the year will be the week after that. The most important aspect of Team of the Year in terms of, for me as a trader making coins, are the upgrade packs that we get most years. Most years we get a premium gold pack, premium gold players pack, league specific. So it'll be a Premier League one, or a League One one, or a La Liga one. And what they normally ask for is 11 rare players to get a premium gold players pack from that specific league. That's what we got last year. And it's a hella effective way to make coins because you can buy rare players at discard price and make a lot of profit out of them. Now, would I advise right now going out and buying them all? No, I would not. Because firstly, I ain't going to do that. I've got a load of Bundesliga Silvers that I've got to sell on to make profit from. So I'm in no massive rush to get to go unassigned again. I can't really do it either. With the way I run the series on this channel, I haven't really got the time now to go unassigned again and again and again. So I won't do that personally. Um, but what you need to start thinking about now is where can you start pacing coins to get your club stocked up? And you can be picking up one of each rare from each of the major leagues. And there's a reason why I say this. Last year's upgrade packs were 11 rare players from any league to give you a premium gold players pack from that specific league. We then started seeing a change in the upgrade packs last year. And it became, especially during TOTS, it became you needed six or seven players, in some cases 11 players, 
from that specific league to get a pack like that. Um, and so that's something that I think you need to be mindful of for this year. Last year it was enough to just turn around and go, okay, cool, let me go to the market and I'll buy, let me go gold rare, basic, and literally just go and buy everything that popped because you knew eventually these guys would go up quite a bit in value to 1,000, maybe 1,100 coins and you'd make 50% back on the turn and investment when you buy them. This year I wouldn't advise doing that. I, this year I would look specifically at the leagues um, just in case EA do turn around and say, you need specific players in that league because it would not surprise me if they tried to kill the grind a little bit in that way. So what I would be doing right now is I go onto Gold Rare and Premier League and I'd be looking and saying, okay, cool. What are they currently going for at the moment? We're looking at 850, I think, was when I last checked. So each of the Premier League like rare golds are going for about 850 at the moment. I'd start to think about bidding on these cards and getting one of each in my club. And it's another one of those situations that I give you guys with the silvers where you put them in your club and you forget they exist. Literally one of each of them. Now, this is twofold. The first reason for that is when Team of the Year comes round, if we get upgrade packs like that, they'll go up in price. When we get upgrade packs, they'll go up in price. But you have very little risk in these cards. They're just sitting in your club doing nothing. So if you've got a spare few 20, 30, 40,000 coins a week, stick them in your club. Just go and buy a few, stick them in your club. But look at the top five leagues. Just cover your risk off by buying that. Because you, there's, there's, if you go and buy random leagues they'll probably go up in value. If you go and buy Premier League players, La Liga players, they will go up in value, especially if EA require, I don't know, six in the Premier League for these upgrade packs. And the upgrade packs don't have that lower chemistry. It's not normally a 30 chemistry requirement. It's usually like 45, 50, maybe slightly higher chemistry than that. So that's why I'd be thinking about doing it. The best time to be doing this, post 6 p.m. content. So right now, for example, I'm looking at these cards and they're 800, 850 on the market, right, for these gold rares. Now, I can sit here if I want to, and I can compare price back out, and I can try and snipe these guys. I don't need to post 6 p.m. At 6 p.m., I can literally just go and buy them, because everyone's going to open up packs, and they're going to min-list these players left, right, and centre. So at 6 p.m., I can pick them up, and I can go, okay, cool. And the easiest way to keep track of this is get a spreadsheet up, and get a team, and go, Arsenal, okay, cool. I'm going to buy one of each from Arsenal, these are their gold rares. I'm going to buy one of each from Everton, and just tick them off. And then it's, again, twofold. You get these players in your club, you can sell them on later on for profit, if I remember rightly, during Tots, the players got to about fourteen to 1,500 coins, give or take. I think this uh, Serie A was the only one that didn't because it only required six Serie A players, but the other ones required more. Um, but they go up, and they get up to maybe 14, 1,500 coins, 1,600 coins, and you make, make W coins back, basically. It also means that if we get the Premier League SBC, you're going to sell them off in the hype of that, but the League SBC for it, they'll go up in value. And it's a really, really easy way to make coins without very much thought at all. The only thing that you want to be mindful of at this point and at this stage is the time it's going to be between now and team of the year. Because I've seen some traders talking about going down a sign now on rares. And I don't think that's a play personally because you're going to be sitting there waiting 10 days, possibly longer, for team of the year to hit and to do it. So I'd initially start by just doing this. That's what I would do. The other side of that as well at the moment is I've noticed the market on a lot of gold commons is extremely low as well. It's very, very low at the moment. Gold commons are sitting in the Premier League at 500 coins right now which is nothing for those cards at all. Now, we don't really know if they're going to be useful during the team of the year or what promo packs we might get or whatever it is. But do these cards here stay at 500 coins? Not a chance. Not even remotely do they stay at 500 coins. So if you're sitting there thinking about where do I put my coins right now, if we get a half-decent upgrade pack, these guys go up in value. If we get a League SBC, these guys go up in value. If we get any sort of half-decent upgrade pack during team of the year that requires specifically Premier League players or League 1 players or La Liga players, these guys go up in value. And it's one of those situations where if you've got 50k coins, this isn't a method for you. It's not at all. But if you're someone sat on three, 400k and you're doing the, the, the things you've seen on this channel so far or website stuff that you've seen on foot trading and you're thinking, right, but I sort of want to stick some coins on those investments, this is your play, 100%. Because it's literally a case of buying them, leaving them sat there and then when the, the SBC comes out, bang. Now, I don't know exactly how many gold rares there are in the Premier League, but I will have a little look. I'll try and see if I can find out right now. But if we go players, FIFA 21 leagues. So you've got gold counts, but I don't know how many gold rares, if I can see gold rares here. I'll try and see if I can. There's a Premier League. So it's 356 goals in the Premier League. Version, gold rare. So there is, how many pages there on footbin? So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So at like discard price, there's a fair few. I mean, we're talking up till 82 rated is probably where you're looking at these cards. 
there's three or four pages on Footbin up to 82 rated for the Premier League. So you can literally go and stick your coins in there and go, okay, cool, I'm going to buy one of each. I probably would avoid goalkeepers. You don't need to, but I probably would. Um, you can go buy one of each. And when there's content at 6 p.m., when we get rewards, anything like that, just go and buy up one league. Leave them in your club. Next set of rewards or whatever it is, content, buy up another league. Leave them sat in your club. The profit you're then making from your trading is then being reinvested elsewhere for a long-term gain. And you leave them sat in your club there. And then again, trade for a little bit for a day or whatever. Next drop of content, I'm going to buy up the La Liga. Buy up Bundesliga, buy up Ligon, and then once I've bought up Ligon, I'm going to buy up Syria and cover all five leagues relatively succinctly, relatively easily, and not have to worry about it too much. And you can repeat that process, and that's fine. And then you might think, right, I'm going to buy up some of the non-rare golds, and I see them at 500 coins. I'll buy one of each of these, and I'll keep track of what I'm buying, and I'll leave them sat there. And then when comes team of the year, you sell for good profit. But even before then, SBCs come out during these promos all the time, and sometimes they're SBCs that are mega packs or rare electron packs and they require quite specific things like a minimum of three players from a club. So people go and do it and they go, right, I'm going to buy Aston Villa players. You see Aston Villa players you've got, go for 500 coins, you pay for them to 800, 900, 1000, you've doubled your coins on them, you sell them on, you make profit. You then wait for the, for the cards to come down in value again the next day, next promo drop or next 6pm promo pack content or division rivals content, bang, I'll buy them again, put them back in my club, leave them sat there, continue trading, make profit from them long term. And it's a really simplistic way to make coins, but this is hella effective and closer towards team of the year. I'm going to tell you about how you can do the upgrade packs for free by using this method. It is a massive grind, but it's well worth it. But it's a massive thing you can do right now that's very simplistic, doesn't take too much work. And a lot of stuff I show you on the channel at the moment is here's ways to go out and make instant profit right now. So continue to use those methods. But when you are making those profits, I'm seeing a lot of you guys make big profit at the moment from that as well. Take some of those coins, and just stick them somewhere else. Stick them here. Stick them in gold rares right now because you know they're going to be needed during Team of the Year. Stick them in non-rare golds because they're going to be needed for SBCs and daily SBCs. Or, at the very worst, when the League SBCs drop, you'll either do the League SBC for next to nothing or you'll sell them on in the hype of people doing that SBC and making profit from them. But that is how you club stock your club at the moment. That is what I would be doing. I wouldn't be doing gold pack method or anything like that for it right now. Golds are extremely low. There's no point in doing it that way. Go out and buy the cards specifically. Target your investments in the right way that you want to put them. It's vitally important you do that. As I say, League SBC Method to Glory will be back very, very soon, as will 1 to 5 million. In my opinion, don't hold the Bundesliga Silvers longer than Wednesday evening, Thursday morning. That's the latest I'll be holding on to these cards, in my opinion. Um, and if you are the first people that are mass listing these cards, you're making it harder for yourself and everyone else. Stop doing it. List one at a time, two at a time. Let them sell. Move on, move forward. That's the best way to do it. The way you're doing it right now is bringing the whole market down, holding it down way too much for people. Uh, but that is going to be the end of the video. If you are new around here, as always, make sure you subscribe down below. Make sure you turn your notifications so you never miss an upload. But for now, lads, I am out. Peace out. I'll speak to you soon.